Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Frostpunk in the last city on Earth. It is day 20 and it's about to get real cold. We're also completely out of steel, apparently. Uh, building new automatons or something. I don't know. Seems to be working okay to me. Uh, about to finish up some new technology. We're making good use of the extended work shifts. The generator range has greatly increased. That'll be quite nice. New technology. Power upgrade. That'll cost me tons of coal. Could... No, I don't need anything in exploration. Resources, efficient gathering is a no. Um, really, the only things that I want are food and health. And for that, we want houses and stuff. We can go ahead and up research this, but afterwards, I think we might just move directly to the difference engine so that I'll be able to upgrade these houses for super, super duper cheap. Since steel has been a problem for us in the past, right? New events. What do we got? Fundamental research. Sir, an engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automatons can be improved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learned how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can adjust it to improve its performance. Why should it be any different with them? Carry on, he won't be able to work for a day. Fine by me, this actually can lead to some free uh, technology. We need to get one more engineer. We'll pop you off of here, get a worker, get an engineer like so. There we go. Yeah, um, so what this can lead to, I think, is a free um, development for your, uh, for your automatons. I think in... A previous test game, I had seen medical automatons come for free, but maybe it could be any of these. I'm not sure. It usually is worth it, but sometimes it gets kind of costly. Sometimes it'll cost you an entire Steam Core in order to do that. Still, whatever works. Uh, looks like we did finish another automaton. Beautiful. Let's actually go ahead and pull some workers off of this and get an automaton working the Steam Steelworks all night. That way, well, we always have some source of metal coming in at night. That's that's the only reason I'm doing any of that. All right. Temperature drops in just a few hours. We have a good day's worth of coal right now, so I'm feeling pretty strong there. Scouts should be returning home right now with five steam cores. The outpost with food is being set up. Um, and new book of laws. What should we go for? Okay, we could continue down adaptation and get the prosthetics. Alternatively, there's the extended shift. Now, the way that this works uh, is instead of having people work a full day like 24 hours, they work like a couple extra hours a day. Discontent goes up a little bit. It's a 14-hour shift instead of 12. Not a bad idea for a more long-term solution. Uh, alternatively, there's always things like the dueling law to try and get rid of some discontent. Alternatively, we do still want to get prosthetics at some point here so that we will be able to get some more helping hands. That could be pretty good. Under purpose, there's a few options here. The field kitchens in order to make... Um, temperature levels rise is actually very helpful right now, now that I think about it. We'd have to build a couple of these and work them, but, um, yeah, increasing the temperature of all nearby workplaces by one level. When it's about to get really cold, this actually could be really very helpful. We're gonna go for the field kitchens. Let's try building something new. Faith. Okay, so if you place one, um, up here, for example... This would affect the uh, all the gathering huts. If I built one here, this is still better, actually. Uh, if I do it like this... Eh. This only affects, like at most, like five buildings. Well, this could actually be pretty good. This affects five gathering posts and the steel thumper. Or, sorry, coal thumper. Whatever. Build one here. And then um, we probably want to build them more toward the outskirts where I know things get cold. If we built one right here, for example, that's not bad. That improves a workplace, the factory, also the infirmary. Build. All right, we're going to do that. That should be fine. We need people to work them, but we have some workers available right now. Uh, do need to get some more streets. So we'll do this. And that's already fine. We can set up uh, some more people to work. And we're going to do another emergency shift here. And here. Now, that's a lot of discontent, but we can do the Faith Keeper's procession right here at midnight, and the discontent will fall uh, as we do that. It will start at 030 by the generator. I'm curious how much discontent it actually gets rid of. In the meantime, we continue making good progress on our technology. Now, we could just have only one going at any time. That would cause far less discontent, and really, it would still be a pretty hefty amount of research. But there we go. Houses are done. Now we are going to research. 
Difference engines. Ah, crap, I need more steel for that. We're close, actually. Kind of close to making that work. Um, we can do that. I'm not going to upgrade any houses quite yet. Let's wait a little bit longer. We need to get to 75. There we go. Let's go for the difference engine. Okay, so we're making a huge technological leap here, but I really want to get to the house redesign because that's going to make it so darn cheap to quickly upgrade all of my housing. Very quickly. We can get some more people working in these uh, field kitchens, which we'll do. There we go. Hope rises as a result. Excellent. And if we look here... It's not immediately obvious to me if it actually did raise the level. Presumably it did. I don't know. A burial uh, ceremony is on its way. Uh, temple has reformed some people. That's great. We are about to be able to do a ceremonial service. And in a few hours, it will be 0.30, and we can watch, probably, a procession happen. There's a nighttime procession, and look, the discontent is indeed going down. Um, are these people all just bowing down in front of the generator? That's right, worship the generator. That's certainly not going to come back to bite anybody. Um, we can very soon go for the... There we go. Hope rises, discontent goes down. Oh, the Londoners are about to go away completely. We'll gather for a, a ceremonial service at the temple. There we go. All right, everyone had their little... Has, is, is, everyone's just walking in a big circle right now. Yes, walk in a circle. Remove your discontent. Burn off all that nervous energy. Brilliant, guys. This is brilliant. We need more metal in order to actually build more automatons, by the way. I did realize that. Scouts have arrived at the freshwater springs. Several pools that are kept from freezing by a hot spring deep underground. Patches of hardy lichen cling to the bare rocks of their edges. It looks like a good place for a hideout. Degenerated, but alive. Near the freshwater springs, we met some refugees from Winterhome. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what happened, kept them from starving, they look away, then mumble something about eating lichens. Okay, we can escort them back home. That's a pretty good number of workers and some children. Um, I think the frozen grove can wait. We do need more people, so I think this is going to be worth it for us. Okay. We're actually about to arrive home with these guys with some extra wood and um, lumber. So that's nice. Another theft. Captain, the Londoners are stealing again. They've taken 59 food rations. Send the Faith Keepers to beat them up. Can't go badly, right? Pretty sure. Faith Keepers have succeeded in retrieving the food. Good. Um, caught red-handed. Our Faith Keepers did well. They got the goods back, but more importantly, they caught one of the thieves. Now we can put an end to the stealing. They're asking what we should do with the thief. Let him go, but next time he'll have to repent. We have three days to sign the public penance law. We could banish him, or discontent rises. Let him go, but next time he has to repent. We're going to make a promise to pass the public penance law next. Which I think will be fine. Um, it's not like I need anything immediately anyway. More resources in Steam Course. Huzzah! Where should we go next? I guess we'll go to the cave hideout, which possibly is dangerous, but let's get out there and see what happens. We're actually about to finish Tier 4 tech, and it's still not the next day. I'm really glad that I decided to start doing these emergency shifts. I think this is changing everything. Let's go for the house redesign. And now we even have a lot of metal to back this up. We're going to be able to get so much insulation? This is going to be awesome. It's going to be super easy to handle the temperature drop. People abandoned the Londoners in droves by like 9. So there are only nine left. I think one more day and the Londoners are officially gone. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Um, still have 19 hours of coal remaining. Plenty of steam cores. We should be building more automatons. Let's set up another one. I guess the prosthetics will have to wait a little bit longer, unfortunately. Still, that's probably fine. Discontent is going up because it is now very cold at home. Yes, this would be a problem, wouldn't it? I could send it over an overdrive, and that would do a lot. But we could also just finish the tech to get some more houses upgraded, and boom, we're fine. Uh, we need to get some heaters going in the medical post, and apparently the hot houses are not properly insulated. Also, the sawmill is very cold. These engineers could be in trouble if we're not careful. Oh, wow, that is cold. That is so dang cold. Tell you what. I actually don't want anyone working there while it is that cold. That's ridiculous, so nope. Let's not do that. Uh, these bunkhouses are also very cold. Well, if we wait just a little bit longer, we can start upgrading them. Done. All right. Tech is ready. Next, what do we want? Hothouse insulation? 
That would fix some of my heater problems. Power upgrade. Ooh, an efficiency upgrade is nice. That saves a lot of coal. Uh, more efficient steam hubs as well. 33% less coal. That adds up too. We have a lot of those. More scouts. Faster outpost, te uh, outpost teams. That would mean that we get more steam cores over the course of the game if we do that. The sooner we do it, the more benefit we're going to get. Truth be told, I think we'll be able to handle the cold with these new houses. I'm going to go for the faster outpost teams because more steam cores means I'll be able to get much better buildings later on. All right, if we go down to people, housing, let's go ahead and upgrade the coldest ones first, like so. Everything further away is the highest of priorities. Doop, doop, and doop. Look how much cheaper this is. Ten wood and seven steel to upgrade. That's practically nothing. Very glad that we got that. Very glad that we got that tech. All right, let's continue moving on. New automaton has been built. Yay. Let's have him go and work the uh, sawmill instead, since we've been having some issues there. Um, not getting close to capped out on any resources right now, so we're doing fine. Um, we could have some other automaton working the steam steel work, so we always get steel at night, and I might end up doing that. Test subject needed. Sir, the engineer working on the automaton project is back. He wants to borrow an automaton. I'm close to a breakthrough. I just need an automaton for a day, and I believe I'll be able to pr uh, propose scientific modifications that will raise their performance permanently. Okay, so we just lost an automaton for a little while. Let's go ahead and pop you off of there. Where did we lose the automaton? This sawmill right here. Eh, all right, we'll just go ahead and switch them around a little bit. It's fine. Oh, right, everyone's homeless, of course. Well, good news is they should be at work sites, which are a lot warmer. Uh, we have somebody with frostbite. Let's go ahead and finish these buildings, though. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, a bunch of houses is getting are getting done. Uh, it's still really cold. But it's better than it was before, I suppose. I'm going to go ahead and kick this sucker into overdrive. We only need to last another day or so. Um, and this would certainly help quite a bit. These guys are still really cold. There's the faster outpost teams we were looking for. More scouts? No. Let's go for um, the generator efficiency. I can't afford anything right now. We need more steel. Right, okay. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and cancel this. And we're going to have the automatons working the steel all day, every day. I think ultimately that's going to end up being a little bit better. Still finishing up some of these houses. Um, no, one is, uh, no one is homeless anymore. At least things are indeed getting a lot warmer. These two houses just happen to be out of range of everything that I want, though. That's sort of my problem. If I had built them a little bit closer, a little bit more efficiently, like, over here, that would have been great, but I didn't. Whatever. For now, anyway, let's go ahead and just build these out. I know I'm using up all my steel, but we're not going to be able to research anything for a little while anyway. I'll let the discontent go down before I do another emergency work shift. Let's just go ahead and get uh, a lot of people warmer. This should make them fairly comfortable by the end of this. And sure enough, they're looking a lot better. Discontent is going down as a result. We only need to last another day. New event? Another theft? Send the uh, Faith Keepers. We can go for a sermon and evening prayers. The hope goes way, way up. That's excellent. Um, we actually can get some more tech right now. Let's go for... Let's go for um, the generator efficiency module. That should save us a fair bit. Right now we're consuming 64. Ooh, the Faith Keepers failed. That's a little upsetting. Uh-oh, a person died. Faith Keeper murdered. One of our faith keepers was beaten to death whilst investigating a theft. We caught one of the thieves, but he's not the murderer. What should we do with him? Uh, we need the public penance law, but I don't have it yet. Discontent? No. He's not the murderer. Let him go. We're not going to banish someone. I know the discontent sucks. If we actually had gotten that event in like an hour, I could have signed a new law and gotten the penance, but I didn't. All right, we have some new helping hands. Uh, these guys can go to the Frozen Grove. Maybe we find something new and useful there. We need to get some more housing. And I will place them this time a little bit closer to the heat. Uh, just a little bit, though. I can't fit this because we don't have enough steel for something new. Right. Okay. Um, well, the automatons are both working the steam steel works, so... Should be pretty easy to do. There we go. Place one there. Okay. A little bit more. People continue to abandon the Londoners. Good. And it's about to get warmer. How's our overdrive? Right now we are looking kind of fine. 
New law. Okay, now we can go for the public penance. There it is. Uh, new ability. Public penance. Faith keepers can each use raises hope and lowers discontent. It can cause injuries, but discontent will rise for doing so. To err is human, but those who stray must do public penance to discourage others from the path of evil. Only then can they be forgiven. Done. Hope rises. We fulfilled our promise. Hope is quite high at the moment. Uh, injuries would suck, but let's go ahead and do some public penance. Hope will rise when the ceremony begins and some Londoners will decide to stay and people may be injured. Boom. We will whip you. Cat of nine tails. Good old fashioned medieval torture. Discontent has gone way up from that though. I guess I shouldn't be surprised and yet somehow I kind of am. Let's place another house right there. Uh, let the purifying voice of truth be heard throughout the city. Mm-hmm. 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 That's fine. Confess my sins to the Almighty, not a bunch of thugs. Uh, what are you trying to imply? That I'm a thuggo? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and assign some more automatons to be built. Uh, it will warm up in about a day. We are looking a heck of a lot better in terms of temperature right now, thanks to the housing. These guys are still quite cold. I would have to get myself another steam hub if I want to do uh, fix that problem. And I kind of do want to get another heat radius right here. Because I suspect we're actually going to be building out a lot more homes in the future, so let's go ahead and preemptively do that. Before people get a lot sicker. New automaton has been built. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and assign this guy to the sawmill. Um, Soon-ish, we should be reaching the survivors in the cliffs, I think. Steam core needed. He broke the automaton. Gosh dang it, he wants a steam core. Well, we can use it. The efficiency of automatons will rise by 5%. Discontent rises slightly. The damage hasn't been for nothing. We can fix the broken machine, and on top of that, we can adjust the automatons to make them work faster. He's onto something really exciting. Give him the steam core. Overall, I think it's going to be worth it. Malfunctioning automaton has been repaired. I mean, ultimately, it was either that or build a new automaton anyway, right? So, there you go. Generator efficiency has upgraded. 76 coal per hour currently. Probably because of the steam hub. I actually think that this takes into account not just the generator, but also the steam hubs. I think. We can test that by building the efficiency upgrade. If this goes down from 76, then we know that that is how it works. Alright. Well, it's going to be getting warmer relatively soon. Um, generator stress levels are getting quite high. 95, 6. Uh, we can get this real quick. Yes, 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 I'm aware. Stress level's critical. Blah, 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 blah. 96. 97. 98. Turn it off. All right. So now our heat level is going to go down a little bit, but at least see the people in the outer row are looking great. Yeah, insulation's a good thing, guys. Turns out it's really solid. Let's go ahead and upgrade these, like so. Uh, upgrade these as well. Let's we'll upgrade all the things. Everyone gets a housing upgrade. Um, you need more heat in the cookhouse, apparently. Fix that real quick. The Londoners should be gone as of tonight. Uh, we need to get a new person here. One second, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Well, now my wife won't pick up the phone. Okay, that's fun. That's very fun. Okay, um, we have an extra automaton sitting around right now. Uh, we can go to the sawmill. It's actually almost done. I guess we can go ahead and gather up this final tree, but uh, pretty soon we're going to want to get rid of this thing. We're starting to run uh, kind of out of our options for wood. Whoa! Ah, the public penance. Look at how they writhe as the evil leaves them. Accept the pain. It's never too late to repent. Stop fighting. The pain will cleanse you. We're, we're, kind of, we're kind of starting to get a little bit scary with our faith, aren't we? Little bit? Maybe? Tiny bit? Um, no, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's a-okay. Uh, let's just keep upgrading all of these houses. We are upgrading way faster than we did before. What happened? Whoa. No matter what the cost... Oh, we got rid of the Londoners! We did the right thing! We are united again! No more division. We are one society. Alright, so we successfully got rid of the Londoners. That is officially done and over with. Nice! No more of them. No more of their nonsense. We won't be divided. The Londoners have brought, been brought back into the fold. Nobody wants to leave the city anymore. We've won a hard-fought victory over those who tried to tear us apart. The tragedy of Winterhome crushed our hope. Fear led some people to pursue mad schemes. We couldn't let them die in the frozen wasteland. We did what was necessary to keep all of us together. And together we are stronger. Nice. Um, 
You know, it reminds me of how a bundle of sticks is a lot stronger together than not. Uh, but that is the symbol of fascism. So, there you go. Discontent is gone and hope is up. I guess we can go ahead and get at least a little bit more um, research going. I'll just do one at a time. That's still 100% research speed. It gets only a tiny amount of discontent. And we continue making progress, which I think is going to be well worth it. Everyone is very cold right now. Yes, I'm aware. Let's go ahead and upgrade these houses like so. Uh, everyone in the outer rings first. And then I guess we can just go ahead and move directly into the inner rings right now. I almost was able to do all of them. I'm just barely too little. Ah, now we can do the last one. House, upgrade, boom. Everyone's getting upgraded to the much better housing. Hooray! We're not going to have any problems with minus 76 degrees. Steam hub efficiency. Okay, did we... 54 coal per hour. So yes, it does seem to take all of that into account. So increasing the efficiency has definitely made things a little bit better. Could go for the power upgrade, could go for more additional scouts right now, could go for some uh, insulation for the gathering posts, which is pretty decent right now. Alternatively, the advanced steelworks. Let's do it. We are still being bottlenecked by our steel right now, so I'd like to go ahead and finish that. Thank you very much. Let's give thanks to the Lord for all of his blessings. Whoa! The whole screen shifted to the left because all of a sudden the ice is melting. Hooray! Okay, so everyone should start feeling a heck of a lot more comfortable around the city right now. That is so good. We're doing good, guys. We're keeping on top of it all. Who doesn't like this? And all the housing is done. Scouts have reached the cave hideout. If we climb up to the cave entrance, a low stone wall uh, behind it, we can see several men. Okay, explore. As we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall barring the entrance. They are in a bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Talk to them or attack them. No, no, no. We're going to try to persuade them that we're not here to hurt them. Okay, we're going to talk. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tow. 35 more workers on the way and a lot of stuff that we can uh, explore relatively soon. So Tesla has been killed. It sounds like he was a tyrannical dictator and kind of deserved it, though. So I don't feel all that bad about it. Um, we can get more automatons. Well, no, we need more steel to do that. Uh, let's just sit back and let the steel generate for a while. That should be fine. Oh, it's going to get cold. It's going to drop down three levels, but then only a day later go back up a little bit. But after that, it's going to stay permanently colder. Yikes. Uh, we do need to get some more housing in anticipation of these new people. So let's build a house there... There, there, and there. Four more, I think, is all we'll need. So we can do it preemptively while we're sitting around waiting. Uh, or alternatively, I could have waited on that so that we could have gotten some steel to make more automatons, but whatever. It's probably okay. New technology. All right, steelworks are done. Let's go for the gathering post insulation. And let us... Well, I need steel in order to upgrade them. So we'll wait a little bit. But then we want to upgrade the steelworks so I can get a heck of a lot more steel. New event. A huge success! Sir, the automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at a lower cost and used in medical facilities. We learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work on the most fragile thing we know of, the human body. It also turns out we can remove some non-essential parts. Cost goes down by 5%, and we can use them to run medical facilities now. Well, that's pretty nifty. Um, did we not want to build this? I want to build... Please, yes, please build an automaton. I don't know why it stopped. So yeah, we got free medical automatons researched. Right here. Okay, nice. I like that. Uh, if we went for automaton integration, we can increase their uh, efficiency quite a bit. Make it cheaper to build them. Not that saving wood and steel matters that much. Prostheses are cheaper. Not that I have a lot of people needing that either. Um, how are we doing on food? pretty decent, actually, so I don't feel the immediate need to do that. We may want to just continue going for more insulation, more gathering huts and stuff. You know, right now they're pretty comfortable, but when the temperature drops another uh, three levels, it's probably not going to stay that way, right? I would certainly think not. Uh, outposts are about to arrive with some more food. There we go. Gathering post insulation is done. 
let's go for the hothouse insulation because as of right now we know that they are burning their generators which probably we can turn off now that I think about it this is well this is well uh, everything else out here seems fine okay new law can be signed let's go to adaptation and finally get the prosthetics everyone wants to contribute in some way perfect this should increase the number of people that are going to be working for me. Let's actually switch over and get seven prosthetics. Perfect. Um, these guys are still working. We can afford to go ahead and do another emergency shift. So we continue getting more technology. We'll just keep alternating between all of them. Uh, new things we can do here? Nope. Um, we can't do a new procession. What do you mean the facility has been shut down? I don't know why is the faith keepers shut down waiting for workers oh really oh there we go okay nighttime procession let's go ahead and do that and reduce the discontent again doesn't cost me anything we might as well just do it in fact we can probably go ahead and start up another emergency shift on these and all this discontent will probably go away so we might as well get an extra 30% research speed right I think so Unexpected guests. Captain, a group of exhausted survivors have reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know that they have come a great distance and that many of them died on the way. The phrase, doom is coming, keeps being repeated and they say that more refugees are following them. They're begging you to help them, sir. And we will help them. And we can send out search parties to bring them to the city. The group will enter. We'll decide what to do with the others later. Let's go ahead and help them. This is going to unlock a lot more options for our scouts. Um... If we look here, refugees, there they are. They are on the way. So these guys will be arriving at some point in a day and four hours with another 21 engineers, 21 workers, and 22 children. Something to keep in mind. Okay, we may want to get a third scouting party pretty soon because we actually will have use for that pretty, uh, pretty in the near future. In the near future, we can do a lot more scouting, I think. Oh, right, we never did upgrade the uh, advanced steelworks. Let's do both of those. That will greatly increase my steel production. Okay. Um, hothouse insulation has been researched. We can go for more. Cookhouse insulation, eh. No. Uh, no. Let's go for the additional scouts now. Because I think we're going to have enough people to actually make that work. We actually have enough people that are idle right now. We should consider other ways of employing them. Not really sure what to do, though. Are we getting close to capped out on the coal piles? I don't think so. I think we're actually keeping more or less on top of it with just the uh, six um, gathering posts. I'm not especially sure what I want to do with these guys. Truth be told. Uh, this sawmill can go away. Serves no purpose. Can we get another one? Yes. If we go here, this will get me a bit more. So let's go ahead and move it further forward. We'll do something like this. There we go. All right. Um, and then... Well, some scouts are about to arrive in a few new places, but otherwise we seem to be more or less in good shape. Prosthetics will be built as of tomorrow. And with that done, uh, we'll start getting seven more people out and working, which will be fantastic. Bring a lot more hope to the city, I hope. I, I think. New additional scouts are currently available. Good. We can go for... Uh... Healthcare insulation is tempting so that we will be able to keep people nice and warm as they are being healed, but right now we seem to be okay. A power upgrade would definitely make it easier to maintain myself through the next temperature drop. But in order to do that, we are going to need a bit more steel. And the scouts have returned to the city safely with several new workers. Okay, we'll deal with all of that in the next video, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.